I'd like to introduce to you how to use the first section of this uh, open source program called Ecro Check, and I just uh, uh, I just published the first uh, first section of the code called uh, uh, the ki uh, the ch uh, check of kitchen work triangle, and about this you can use the Wikipedia to see there's a, a triangle between the refrigerator, stove, and sink in the kitchen and uh, there's a uh, restriction on the dimension of the triangle so there's a restriction in the layout so and uh, to see if there's a particular design meets this layout you just need to uh, input some uh, some of the data so two ways of using this the first one is using the sizes of three size so you could you can go uh, the first side is 1.5 meters, uh, second side is 2, and third side is uh, not 5. Uh, for example, 2.5. It tells you the size of the three sides. This is uh, 1.5 to 2.5. And uh, from the average, from the average equilateral triangle, which is between the uh, which is uh, halfway between the upper limit and low limit is 0 0.4 or 5 and uh, it doesn't make sense but it doesn't matter here <laughs> and uh, the area of working triangle so the area of working uh, moving space is 1.5 and uh, check finished so and uh, particularly if the if it doesn't make the so for example 1.2 0 0.9 1 1.5 for example it tells you the perimeter p perimeter is too small and size 2 is too short and it tells you which side doesn't meet the requirements and uh, the other way of using this is to uh, if you can get some mocha photos or uh, drawings up to scale uh, for for instance, you get a uh, you get a kitchen which is uh, four by three meters here. I'm just draw it roughly. Right. Just put four. All right. So, uh, for example, this is four and three right so uh, <coughs> and you put your refrigerator here for example and the width of the working space is 0 0.6 so it goes 0 0.6 there and you put halfway there and uh, you get U-shaped layout, which sink is down here, mm. and the stove, right? So, uh, the coordinate of that is 0 0.6. Halfway there is 1.5. So we go. Right. So. This is two two point six. And that's uh four minus uh you can go four minus zero point six is zero point four uh sorry three point four which is and the uh, height is one point five again. Right. So get a three coordinates. And that is, yeah, and that's all the, and that's all you need for the in input, because you get a second option here, which is the coordinates of three points. So I select two here, and wait, sorry, well, it doesn't work in that way. <laughs> Let's 
seven here. Okay. Right, so it's like two and it asks you the coordinates of three. So there's zero point five one uh, zero point six one point five. So you go x2 equals to 2 0 0.6 so I go 2 0 0.6 x3 equals to 3.4 1.5 right so it works that way it tells us that size 2 is too long which is size B which is the uh, offside side of uh, the second point, which is this line, right Let's see. which is that line, so that need to be shortened, right? Okay, and to compare different data, so you just have to. Uh, uh, okay, I, I'm a, that, that's not very convenient. But if you uh, if you can't get some uh, models of the kitchen up to scale, this is gonna be really helpful. Cause it, if you need uh, if you have a wooden thing here, for example, uh, this is a wooden board with lines drawn, and and you get models of refrigerator, sink, stove here, and then it's gonna help you more. Cause the grid stands for the coordinates of the of the points okay thanks for watching